Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mike's Garage. Well, I want to address something that came in from a subscriber, uh, Joseph Ryan. Uh, Joseph's been with us for quite a while on the channel here, and uh, he told a story about what he went through at basic training. Um, yeah, a lot of the Korean War, World War II um, uh, barracks and uh, setups were there. The buildings, everything was really old, uh, especially where I was in um, Fort Benning, Georgia, the, the um, 818th Engineers in Fort Benning. Um, everything was really old. The garage doors were manual. They closed like big wings. That's how you shut the garage doors. It was a coal-fired furnace. Uh, you had to shovel the coal in and light the furnace to heat the garage. We had a 10-bay garage there. would fit dump trucks, tractors for a tractor trailer. All the big diesels would come in there. And uh, the only way you got heat in the winter now, it was in Georgia. Okay, very few nights it went down to freezing, but usually it was 35 degrees. Sometimes we got snow. But if you wanted to work on any vehicles down there, there was a few of issues. You get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, go down, start the, start the uh, furnace going. Sometimes you would throw coal on the furnace, especially during the week. Uh, Sunday morning you went down there really early and got the fire going and got the coal burning. Then you went back up for breakfast and the and the, the morning address there uh, formation, and then by the time you got back there and there it was starting to get a little warm. Okay, uh, but every night before you left the motor pool during the week, you threw three or four shovels of coal on there, shut the burner down, let a little bit of air in there so it'd be warm. So when you went in there the next morning, it was nice and warm. That's the only heat you had. You had a coal uh, furnace, no blower or anything on it. it was all gravity. Uh, Air, air ventilation, you know, the, the cold air came in off the floor, it went up through the furnace and out through the vents on the top. And that's how you stayed warm, you had a coal, coal furnace. This was in the 60s, okay. Uh, so, you know, it was old, old stuff. Uh, same thing, the uh, latrines, the bathrooms weren't updated. Really old stuff in there. Uh, the barracks we were in was a two-story barrack, very drafty, no screens on the windows in the summer. Uh, very drafty in the winter time. Everybody used to cover, wrap a, uh, a tarp around their bunk and leave one side open so the so the breeze the breeze wouldn't blow across your bunk. It would just make you so cold. So that's the kind of stuff you learn to survive. Uh, I you know we did we did tents when we went out on a, we'd go three or four days on a on a road building mission somewhere in the uh, uh, fort you know to build a road to clear some timber to run the bulldozers and the things like that just to make sure we remembered how to do all that stuff and you did it you know it wasn't any gps to tell you if the road was level or where it was everything was by uh use the uh i can't think of the name of the viewer now uh, the tripod where you made sure everything was right you used to put out the stakes build the road sometimes you didn't have time to do that you just shot shot it by eye uh, bulldozed the uh earth out of the way, put down stones and put down asphalt just to get some, some kind of a solid transportation route out to where you needed to go. We did a lot of that in Vietnam too. Uh, you needed a road built 10 miles a day, 20 miles a day. Those uh, truck drivers, my hats off to those guys, 46 engineers in uh, Long Bend, uh, D Company, C Company, B Company, A Company. Uh, those guys drove all day long and they had some long days hauling asphalt and hauling stone. Uh, so uh, that's the kind of stuff we went through. It was old equipment. Uh, we had a lot of uh, Korean War uh, trucks that we were trying to keep running, flathead, six cylinders, uh, top shifter on the floor. Everything was stick shift, just old equipment. We had to keep it running somehow. So uh, that's what happened here, Joseph. Thank you for your update on where you want the basic. If you want to read the story, it's in the comments there. It's a really interesting story. Thanks for sharing that, Joseph. I really enjoyed reading that, okay? Thanks for watching Mike Garage, everybody. Uh, take care. Do something nice for a stranger. See you next time.